December 28th. Today we keep the memory of the 20,000 martyrs who were burned to death in their church at Nicomedia. After his victorious campaign against the Ethiopians in 304, the Emperor Maximian Galerius decreed that sacrifices of thanksgiving to the gods should be offered throughout the empire. On reaching Nicomedia with his trophies, he ordered all the inhabitants of the region to assemble and to give the gods due honor, with death as the punishment for anyone who refused. After putting to death some Christians prominent in the local administration or at court, who were regarded as especially dangerous, the tyrant sent his bloodthirsty henchmen through every quarter of the city to chase out the faithful who had gone into hiding and to put them to agonizing deaths. Each day saw an increase in the number of the victims who bore witness to Christ before departing to the everlasting habitation of the saints. As Christmas was drawing near, some malicious pagans informed the emperor that the holy bishop Anthemus, whom we celebrate on September 3rd, the soul of resistance to idolatry, had gathered a multitude of Christians in the principal church of the city. The opportunity was not lost on Maximian, ordering his troops to surround the building so that nobody could escape. He had great heaps of timber and brushwood piled up around it and an idolatrous altar placed at its door. His criers then gave notice to the Christians at prayer within that all who wanted to save their lives should come out and sacrifice to the idols. As this announcement penetrated the church, a divine zeal more fiery than any flame in the world seized the deacon Agapius, who rushed to the pulpit and he cried out, Brethren, remember how often we have praised and exalted the three young men who, when they were thrown into the Babylonian furnace, called on the whole creation to sing the glory of God, and how the all-creating word then came down in bodily appearance to assist them and to render them invulnerable by surrounding them with a moist, whistling wind. The time has now come for us to imitate them. Let us offer ourselves to a temporary death for love of our Master, in order to reign everlastingly with Him. And the whole congregation, with one voice, then answered Maximian's criers, We believe in Christ God, and we will give up our lives for Him. As the soldiers began to set fire to the piles of wood outside, Saint Antimus told his deacons to assemble those who were still catechumens, and he baptized them, and he anointed them with the holy mirror. He then served the divine liturgy, at which all present communicated in the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Armed with divine strength and closely united in one body by Christ who now dwelled in them, the holy martyrs felt no fear as they saw the flames leap up everywhere and thick smoke begin to fill the church. With gladness they sang in unison the song of the three young men, Bless the Lord, all works of the Lord, sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever, until the lost among them suffocated and gave up his soul. The conflagration lasted for five days. Those who then ventured into the smoldering ruins, anticipating the odor of charred flesh, found instead of heavenly scent pervading the air and the place surrounded by a brilliant light. The saints who were glorified at this time are said to have numbered 20,000. Saint Antimus himself miraculously escaped death 
and so was able by his teaching to lead a large number of souls to salvation and to the new birth of holy baptism before, in his turn, fulfilling his union with Christ by martyrdom. Blessed is our God always, now and for the good of the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for the Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the earth that drank your blood, O prize winner of the Lord, and holy are the tabernacles that receive your Spirit. For in the stadium ye triumphed over the enemy, and ye proclaim Christ with boldness. Beseech him, we pray, since he is good to save our souls. Let us all sing a hymn of victory unto God who has wrought marvelous wonders with his upraised arm and saved Israel, for he is glorious. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. O manifold multitude of venerable martyrs, blot out with your mediation the multitude of my many offenses, and give me speech to honor your festival with him. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. All right, victorious martyrs, you lamps of the church, which are brighter than light, since you glorified God in your own members, you are now glorified on your luminous memorial. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The divinely inspired faith of the prize winners destroyed the godless tyranny of the faithless, and utterly did away by grace the demon's wicked defile. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since you confess the Almighty God who took flesh and destroyed death by death, you are put to death, O martyrs, receiving an ending love. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I hymn thee, O all hymned and blessed Virgin, who didst conceive in the flesh, God who is hymned above all, who magnifies the prize winners as threw down the enemy in the wrestling. Let my heart be established in thy will and in thy commandments, O Christ my God, who didst establish on the floods the material firmament, and it's found the earth upon the floods, O Sovereign Omnipotent. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Beautifully set afire with Christ's love, O Lord in martyrs, you in no wise feared the raging fire, but being perfected in it, you are glorified together. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The old famed warriors of Christ, preaching God with a living voice, 
feared not the threats of the godless, but with one mind they cried out the song of the children, and were perfected. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The noble saints cried out together, We fear not fire, our fellow servant, but rejoicing in soul, O Saviour, we are slain for thee, who in dying did destroy us. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That he might make man God, God became man of thee, O pure Virgin, in a manner transcending mind and speech for this cause, with one accord with the faithful call thee blessed. A twenty thousand numbered battalion of martyrs, most venerable to us, rises up full of brightness, enlightening by faith the hearts and the minds of all godly folk, kindled with divine and ardent love to the Master, this courageous host received a sanctified ending when eagerly burned with fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Become a babe for us, O long-suffering Savior, the willingly was set down midst peace in the manger, and shepherds with angels sang out thy praises and cried aloud, Praise and glory be to him brought forth on the earth now, who has made the essence of the earth born exalted. Let Christ our God be extolled. I have heard the report of thee, O Lord, and was afraid. I have understood thy works, the prophet said, and have glorified thy power. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The prize winners bound their hearts to love of thee, O Lord, and put to death for thee like lambs without blemish. They were seen to be imitators of thy passion. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Directing your souls in the Spirit unto the haven of salvation, O blessed saints, you escape the tempest of the insanity of idols. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You were seen to be unbending, unmoved, and afraid in the conflict of martyrdom, overcoming with divinely inspired faith the persecutor's opposition. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Delivered by thy childbirth from the primordial curse, O blessed Lady, we that glorify thee as thou, Tokos, have laid hold on blessing, life, and redemption. Shine forth thy radiant and everlasting light upon us who rise early unto the judgments of thy commandments, O Master Christ our God, who lovest mankind. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The memorial of thy prize winners, beaming brightly, has shone out in splendor, O Christ our God, and has enlightened the uttermost parts of the earth with divine effusions of miracles. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. As the priests were offering the sacrifice, they were offered up as perfect whole burnt sacrifices with all of their very many fellow martyrs, magnifying Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Being temples of God through baptism, O saints, you received your holy end together in the house of God, and were brought up unto the heavenly temple. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That God might unite to those on high them that had slipped into the great pit of transgression, he dwelled in thy womb and became flesh, O all Immaculate Virgin. Emulating the prophet Jonas, I cry out, O good one, free me from corruption. O Saviour of the world, save me, who cry out, glory to thee. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Thou becames the leader of a sacred people, O righteous Hieromartyr Antimus, 
and when they had striven in contest, thou sandst them before thee unto heaven in joy. Holy martyrs, pray to God for in us. In the midst of the fire, O athletes of Jesus, your piety was found to be as pure gold, flashing brighter than the very sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When you died in the flesh, you inherited the true life of wise martyrs, being with Christ who showed you to be mightier than Thomas. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the power of Jesus who was incarnate of thee, O Mariam, thou hast truly remained a virgin after childbearing as thou had been before, verily a marvellous wonder. A twenty thousand numbered battalion of martyrs arises like an unwaning star, great with brightness, enlightening by faith the hearts and the minds of all godly folk. For enkindled with divine love unto the Master, this courageous host received a sanctified ending when eagerly burnt with fire. The fire neither touched nor vexed thy children in the furnace, O Saviour. For then, as with one mouth the three hymned and blessed thee, saying, Blessed is the God of our fathers. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Looking only to those things yonder which endure, O blessed ones, like the divine three children in Babylon, you are superior to the fire through the power of God, shining with divine love. O holy martyrs, pray to God for when us. When you had slighted the tyrant's foolish decree, O wise martyrs, with the sacred women and altogether godly little children, you are truly offered as whole oblations to the King of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Devoutly bearing forward the light of Christ's knowledge which was within your soul, O athletes, you truly came through the dark cloud of atheism and passed over unto everlasting love. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou became higher than all the heavens when thou didst conceive God the Master. Cease not to entreat him earnestly, O all holy and immaculate virgin, to save them that honor thee with fervent faith. Christ God preserved the children who sang his praises in the furnace, and he changed the thundering furnace into dew. Praise him and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The relics of the martyrs stream with the divine fragrance and the mud of healings, and they do away the stink of the passions in those who with faith Lord Christ unto the ages. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. As you are bathed in fire, O prize winners, you appeared as most beautiful roses, and you readily cried out, Praise and supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Young men and virgins, elder with the younger, the holy infants, and an innumerable multitude of women, contending together, have attained to the choir on high. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Ezekiel beheld thee as a short gate, O virgin, through which Jesus passed, when he dwelled in thy womb and put on flesh from thy blood without confusion. Let us all magnify the light-bearing cloud wherein the Master of all who is without beginning came down from heaven like rain upon a fleece and was incarnate for our sake, becoming man. Let us magnify her as the pure mother of God. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. As willing lambs of sacrifice, you became whole burnt offerings together, and as a pure sacrifice, you offered to the Master who was sacrificed for us, the earthborn. O right victorious martyrs, you have all worthily carried off crowns of victory. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. With the holy prophets, with the august apostles, with the choirs of the elect and the holy angels, 
O multitude of glorious martyrs, supplicate the Lord that those who with faith call you blessed be saved from temptations and perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your sacred memory shines out brighter than the rays of the sun, O all-famed athletes, and ever driving away the demon's darkness and enlightening all that duly call you blessed with faith and longing. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all-blameless Virgin, who gave birth to the divine light that shone from the Father, take pity on my soul, which has been darkened with the beguilements of life and is become the sport of mine enemies, and vouchsafe unto me the saving light of repentance, O pure one. O host of martyrs all revered, God chosen company of saints, Ye twenty thousand entreat God, who has been born of a virgin, and supplicate him fervently to save from every suffering them that now honor you with hymns, and keep the feast of your shining and most illustrious memory. Wisdom, O Holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who was born in a cave and lay in a manger for our salvation, Christ our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist and all the holy placed apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross, and with the protection of all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community, with the prayers of the 20,000 martyrs of Nicomedia, with the prayers of our venerable father Simon the Merse Streaming, founder of Simono Petra Monastery on Athos, with the prayers of St. Go and St. Mogul, St. Romulus, St. Alphage, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.